welcome to the channel i'm sim ali and we are back with the family dynamics legacy challenge so today um what's actually what's happening right now is darren actually just got home from work um he got back really really late around 11 p.m um but becca was just having these weird night cravings and she was just like darren you know i'm craving some greasy diner food and he's like okay let's go so it's super late it's like 1 a.m and they are at this diner um so now i am trying to pick out what they are most likely to eat and i think becca is just gonna go for the most unhealthy the most greasy food they have to offer um i think darren is just gonna go for some water and becca is gonna go for a soda look at all these options you guys okay so there's a hamburger a ham dinner roast chicken veggie burger blt mm. i think that she would go for the hamburger of freaking course and darren darren's really not that hungry i think he ate at work but he's just gonna go for a nice i think he's gonna go for a dessert uh he's gonna have a classic vanilla cupcake just for a little dessert you know he's like hey so what did you do today and i feel like she's like oh well you know i did a lot of studying and believe it or not you guys um becca is going to be able to get on maternity leave soon which is super duper exciting because that means that the baby is almost close to being born thank you we'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready thank you um hopefully we can get our order before like 3 a.m i mean it wouldn't be terrible if we didn't um because this is like a little late night um food run but um it would be nice for us to get our food on time today look at them they're so cute darren in his little work outfit and becca in her like cute little maternity clothes all right you guys it looks like our food is pretty much ready let's follow her to our table let's see the presentation um those are our waters and that's darren's cupcake great we got our food before three our hamburger looks absolutely terrible what about this cupcake um uh, normal becca is extremely tired and she has to pee so let's get the show on the road can you come back and eat your burger so we can leave can you eat your cupcake so we can leave <laughs> Also, you guys, um, I know it's like 4.30 in the morning, um, but let's say they just got like really carried away and like chatting it up and, you know, talking about the baby and being excited and stuff like that. So that's the reason why they're still here, but we're going to make them go ahead and go home. If you guys are wondering, this is actually... Um, a restaurant or like you know a diner a part of plumbella's save file so if you're interested in um having builds like this in your game then definitely download a uh, plumbella's save file um, i'm gonna have it linked down below in case you guys want it but you know i just wanted to give credit to plumbella for all of her hard work in creating this awesome diner all right you guys we are back and Whoopsies. we're gonna work from home today darren and becca have been sleeping a bit trying to catch up on their z's before they have to start their day all over again <laughs> um becca is actually working from home today because she doesn't want to take maternity leave just quite yet she wants to wait until after the baby is born to do that so today on the agenda we have to attend a university law class and we have to discuss a complex case law so that's what becca has to do today and darren has to level up his mixology skill 
so that we can advance further in the cooking career also you guys it's super exciting because we have finally renovated most of the house. I think it's only fitting to give you guys a proper realtor tour. There's nothing really different on the outside of the house except we moved the plants to the front. There's really nothing else that has been done. I love how um, beautiful and like earthy and warm and inviting this house is. So um, when we do, figure out the exterior of the house and how we're going to style it it is definitely going to keep that same um warm and inviting welcoming um vibe when you walk in through the front door we have this new open area right here you guys i really wanted to open up this space so that um, it's not just one walkway into the kitchen um, because in my mind uh, Darren would be in there cooking and maybe he's like yelling out to Becca to, to do the laundry or something or if she can put like clothes in the dryer which is right here um, but we're gonna get into this little corner in a second but I thought that it would be great to just open up this room a little bit and have like a little peek into the kitchen. We have a new um, table right here and I feel like um, future children and of course Darren and Becca will utilize this to put, you know, book bags, books, um, purses, car keys, stuff like that. We have a nice little entertainment system over here and then over here on the side we have a nice couch a nice rug some plants you know and a place for Cersei to lay down and um, we kept the same curtains um, because they're really nice I feel like those would be like really a really nice like antique um, addition to the house and as we go through here we have a nice um, dining table and chairs and of course everything is very light and bright um just so we can open up the space a little bit have it be a little bit more um inviting and friendly and less sort of um somber the lighter the brighter the better you know it uplifts your spirits and i feel like it just makes um the house look bigger for some reason i don't know um so yeah we have a nice little island over here i guess you could call that an island not really sure <laughs> um and we have a fridge and stove and then over here we have the sink and a little cookbook that is the kitchen i actually forgot to put another chair here but i also kind of like that it's just one you know it's like it looks intentional all right we come back into the living area and i'm definitely planning on putting um more seating areas over here and you know when winter comes and christmas comes oh not christmas winter rest <laughs> um we definitely plan on putting a christmas tree in the corner over here so as we mosey on down this hallway of course on the left is darren and becca's room oh look how cute it looks so cozy but uh, and then we have their little crib over there and Darren with his little night mask it looks so nice in here I love that it's like brighter and lighter and it's definitely more uplifting and um, calming I guess you could say um, then in here we have the bathroom the bathroom actually has not been renovated yet but it needs to be because cersei definitely needs a bath and when we have um the baby eventually they're going to age up into a toddler and she or he is going to need a tub to take a bath in so that's going to be renovated very very soon and this is actually the baby's new room um becca has not um done any renovating in here in terms of like turning it into a nursery room 
um, is obviously still like a study area, um, mainly because she cannot find a place to put this desk. She's thinking about putting it in her room, but then there's already a dresser in there, so we'll definitely figure it out. But um, this is going to be the baby's new room, and I love that it's green and it's very like gender neutral. And I think Becca loves that about this room. Guys, we have actually a very important day today because Becca's parents are actually coming to meet um, Darren. Now, um, they've obviously have seen each other and stuff on the phone, you know, through FaceTime and all of that, but um, they have yet to meet face to face so uh, they're going to be heading down here and um i think darren's gonna cook a nice little lunch for them he actually needs to take off of work i think it would be nice and i think it would be nice for him to take a jog today and when he comes back he will start um preparing their lunch Becca here actually has some work to do so we are going to get her to visit the university law class um, how do we do that we have to click on a classroom at either the university or use the phone to visit university law class so we're gonna go ahead and do that I think Darren is back from his run. We're actually gonna come in here and do some cooking or see what we can cook with the groceries that we have for lunch for Becca's parents. Um, looks like we don't really have that much. I think we're gonna go to the grocery store and get the food that we need to make this or whatever we're gonna make, you know? Since it's fall time, I think it'll be nice if we did a forager stew. So um, we already have the vegetables we need for that. We just need an herb and a mushroom. So we're going to go to the store and get that. Go to the store and get the food that we need. But here we have Becca over here. Um, Cersei definitely needs a bath, but you know... The people aren't going to come and renovate the bathroom until like tomorrow so she's kind of going to have to stay a little funky <laughs> until then. We're buying some vegetables herbs. Um, just to be clear, we want to make sure that what we're getting is actually like herbs. So I think we're going to do some parsley and we need some mushrooms. So let's get those. Let's do two. Darren is back with the goods. Let's put the rest of the stuff in there. He is going to start cooking. Let's go ahead and make this um, for for foragers stew now that we have all of the ingredients. We'll do a party size so we can have leftovers. And Becca has reached. Oh, she can take um, a family leave now. That's great. But I don't think she's going to take a family leave until the baby comes. Becca has finally reached level three of the research and debate skills. So that's great. That is great progress for today. Um, talk to Darren about. Um, we're going to talk to him about a complex case law. And you guys, we are officially in our third trimester. So that means at any minute, we can expect baby cook to come. Becca is going to go ahead and invite her parents over. It will be amazing if she could go into labor while her parents are here. So that when she gets back, they're here and they can meet the baby. I'm actually going to set this in the middle of the island so that when they come, we can just grab it and go and let's have Darren meet her parents, you know, formally. Oh, let's have you all sit at the same table. He's like house of food, you know? I think he would definitely boast about his family. 
Um, he's like, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Clark, how's it going? Um, how are you guys liking the Newcrest area? And Becca's like, oh my god, Darren, did you make any dessert? Because I am craving it now. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm sorry, but we can head to the diner afterwards and get some dessert. And she's like, cool, I need it. <laughs> I think her mom is asking her, like, hey, like, how's the pregnancy going? Um, I got you some things for the nursery. I'm going to leave them here. Just like, thanks, mom. Is everyone done with their plates? Gorgeous delights, handpicking freshly harvested fruits and vegetables resulted in an extremely fulfilling and nutritious meal. Packed with antioxidants, this locally sourced mix of organic superfoods will help keep Becca alive and energized. That's great because we need to be super healthy for this baby. And I feel like they're just chopping it up. I don't really know what they're talking about. I think that they're really loving the renovations to the house and because becca showed them you know on facetime what the house was looking like before and they're finally able to see it you know in person and they're like wow this looks amazing i think it is time for them to go but they definitely promised that they would come back and help with the baby um when it comes also, can we just take a look at these beautiful flowers? The apple tree is really close to blooming and the carrot plant is blooming as well. And hopefully um, we'll see some growth with the spinach and the taro plants. Now is as good a time as any to start to um, put together the nursery. So let's do it. <laughs> you blow up my life. Please don't come over, cause you're not sober, yeah. Now you know that ain't right. If you too knew you was coming over, that would be a problem. Yeah. If our friends knew undercover loving, they would try to solve it. Alright you guys, so Becca sort of just threw all of this together. Um, it's pretty plain, um, but we definitely plan on adding more things when the baby comes. I'm actually gonna have Darren give Cersei a bit of love because, you know, I feel like she's feeling a little left out, you know? I feel like she can definitely sense that a baby is coming. That on top of not being bathed, <laughs> um, Darren definitely wants to just give her some love. Darren's out here shooting some hoops. Um, he felt a sudden burst of energy before bed, so he decided to get that out while he can. You guys, look how sweet this looks. Cersei is at the foot of the bed and Darren and Becca are sleeping. This is like the quiet before the storm of a brand new baby. Becca actually just came in to get a little midnight snack because she is super hungry. Obviously, these pregnancy cravings are really taking over for her. <laughs> Darren is up. Um, I think I'm gonna have him, well, I was gonna have him make breakfast, but he wants to grab a serving of chicken. So I'm definitely going to let him do that. And I think we'll read a bit of our mixology skill book before work. There we go. That should increase our mixology skill. You know, you guys, normally Becca wakes up super early and gets a start to her day. But today she's just not feeling well. Obviously, she's pregnant and she's feeling humongous. Um... But we have this little movelet. It says, my little one, there's something amazing growing inside of me. So I think she's definitely ready for the presence of this baby over here. 
being a, a little creepy now, but she's over here sleeping. <laughs> Alright you guys, since nothing is really happening right now, I'm just gonna fast forward until Becca has her baby. Oh my goodness, you guys. Becca is finally in labor. Okay, so we have to rush to the hospital right now. Alright, so we are going to go check in all right y'all this is the moment of truth the first cook baby is coming into this world so excited and in three two one it's a girl congratulations it's a girl becca just birth just gave birth to a baby girl this baby needs a name what would you like to call her well you know i'd hate to do this to you guys but you're actually going to have to watch the next part in order to find out what our first born's name is please 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 don't be mad at me <laughs> but um just want to say thank you guys for vibing with me and i'll see you all next time bye guys